but you can essentially put on like an Oculus and it can pull, you can play a video game and it can read your thoughts. You don't have to speak to it. It's reading your mind. For example, there's a um, video of a young lady. She's playing a game and she's casting a spell. The device is reading her thoughts and putting it into the spell or into the game. She never speaks a word. Neuralink, they can do this with the implants to correct Parkinson's. And they show how this is being done from a medical viewpoint. That's needed because those people have spinal cord damage, brain damage in some ways. Mm -hmm. So with the wearable devices, for the people who do not have damage, it's able to be on the same frequency as our thought processes, the electromagnetic frequencies. Essentially operating off of an EEG, but the EEG is not needed. Do we really know how advanced that is at this point? Um, It's highly advanced. It's very popular in other nations outside of the United States. They've been doing extensive studies on this for years. So we just don't hear much about it in the United States. Apple is coming out with some devices that are wearables and they require something a little bit different. But this technology is coming out with the 6G where our phones will be able to interact with our frequencies within our brain. 